The A330 nose landing gear first stage LP chamber is filled with hydraulic oil and nitrogen gas and has a Schrader type charging valve at the top of the nose landing gear. Inside the sliding tube is the second stage HP chamber which contains only nitrogen gas. The HP chamber charging valve is on the lower aft side of the sliding tube. The LP and HP chambers are separated by a floating piston. LP chamber gas pressure is referred to as P1 and HP chamber gas pressure is called P2. To carry out hydraulic replenishment of the nose gear, the aircraft must be on jacks with wheels clear of the ground. Position an axle jack and attach a tube to the HP charging valve. Open the charging valve to depressurize the HP chamber and capture any oil that comes out. This is the three-way valve tool. Attach a clear tube from the purge port to a bucket. Attach a tube from the out port to the LP charging valve and a tube from the in port to the oil filling pump. Open the purge tap and the LP charging valve to depressurize the LP chamber. Close the purge tap and open the in tap to pump fresh oil into the LP chamber. Do not exceed a maximum oil pressure of 15 bar. Close the in tap and open the purge tap. Connect the nitrogen source to the HP charging valve. Verify the gear is fully extended with a dimension H of between 408 to 416 millimeters and measure the temperature at the HP charging valve. Slowly inflate the HP chamber to the correct P2 pressure. As the floating piston rises, oil will flow from the purge line. Check that this oil is free of air bubbles. If not, repeat the steps. When P2 is stable at the correct pressure, close and leak check the HP charging valve. HP chamber servicing is now complete. Confirm the LP charging valve and purge tap are still fully open, then slowly operate the axle jack to fully compress the sliding tube. Monitor the oil flow to make sure it is bubble free. Close the purge tap and open the in tap. Pump oil into the LP chamber as you slowly extend the sliding tube using the axle jack. Close the in tap and axle jack valve and open the purge tap. Slowly operate the axle jack to compress the sliding tube to the oil level setting dimension H of between 189 and 194 millimeters. Hydraulic oil replenishment is now complete and you can remove the three-way valve, oil supply and tubing. Measure the temperature at the LP charging valve to calculate P1 pressure. Connect the nitrogen source to the LP charging valve and slowly pressurize P1. Allow the sliding tube to gradually extend using the axle jack. Confirm the sliding tube is fully extended and increase P1 to the correct nitrogen charge pressure. Close and leak check the LP charging valve. Nose landing gear shock absorber servicing is now complete. Nose landing gear servicing requires a clear path for nitrogen and hydraulic oil to flow into and out of the LP chamber. The Schrader style charging valve operating nut is turned counterclockwise with a spanner to open the valve. Tighten the nut to secure the valve fully open. If left loose, the nut could accidentally wind down a few threads when swapping tubes. Pressure inside the LP chamber could then push the valve towards the closed position greatly restricting fluid flow. This could cause the aircraft to move unexpectedly during compression of the sliding tube. Always check your charging valve is locked fully open during servicing. The HP chamber is filled with nitrogen gas only, but it is normal for some oil to have leaked past the floating piston. By measuring the quantity of oil that comes out of the HP chamber, you can determine if the floating piston seals are serviceable. Dimension H is the amount of sliding tube extension and is measured from the top of the torque link attachment lug to the bottom of the main fitting lower bearing. 
temperature of the nose gear adjacent the charging valves can be measured with the IR laser thermometer. To determine correct nitrogen gas pressures for P1 and P2, the AMM directs us to chapter 12, 14, 32. Look for section B, gas replenishment for aircraft on jacks. Charts for P2 pressure are referred to as graph and table, while charts for P1 pressure are referred to as graph 2 and table 2. Here is the P2 chart graph. Graph and table below it reference pressures from 500 to 1000 psi for a range of temperatures in the high pressure P2 chamber. Further down are graph 2 and table 2, which are for P1 pressure. Graph 2 and table 2 reference pressures from 100 to 250 psi for a range of temperatures in the low pressure P1 chamber. If the nitrogen service engages are set to bar, change to psi by holding the menu button for 3 seconds. Select the unit page. Press menu. Select PSI, then press Menu. Save the new setting by selecting the Store page. Press Menu, then select Yes. Press Menu to save the change. 